Are you okay? Do you yeah. want to move or something? No, I'm fine. To tattoo, you need to sit still. I'm just trying not to mess your up your lines. <laughs> One little move can ruin the whole tattoo. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. That brings us to this week's elimination tattoo. Animals. Oh, you're cool. In an animal tattoo, in order to create dimension, you have to have lights and darks. You have to blend it in a way that tricks the eye into thinking that it's no longer a two-dimensional canvas. Animal tattoos are one of the most popular designs done in tattoo shops today. You will have six hours to tattoo an animal in any style. Good luck. Oh my god. Yeah. My canvas wants a portrait style jaguar. You know, I'm super stoked about it. It's perfect. I'm gonna show a lot of dimension. This is the exact design that I need to win. Hopefully the pain won't be that bad. <laughs> I don't there wanna be go. that girl. Ugh. It's so unpleasant. I feel like a little bit nauseous right now. I'm concerned. Is it the pain, you know? You want me to just give you like a little break? I could just stretch out a minute. Damn, we just freaking started. How are you feeling right now? I'm like really dizzy right now. My canvas, she's just not feeling well. Take a deep breath. I'm praying to everything for her to feel better. I really want to finish this tattoo. <sighs> Try and relax. I'm just nauseous and I'm dizzy. Like I don't feel good right now at all. <sighs> Two more hours remaining, everybody. <sighs> you think you're gonna throw up? Why is this happening to me? Right now. Oh, God. Somebody popped. This is the worst thing you can have happen. She's a good tattoo artist. She could be going home just because the canvas can't sit. She's in trouble. Oh, my God. It really, really sucks. If my canvas doesn't let me finish this tattoo, I'm going home. Ten more minutes, everybody. How are you feeling? You feel like you could do a little bit more? As time is ticking down, I'm trying to finish the rest of this tattoo as fast as I can. Will you ever do another five-hour tattoo? Hell no. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, mm. three, two, one. Time. That's it. Machine's down. No more ink. <sighs> I mean, I like it for what it is. I am so freaking upset. Like, words cannot explain how I'm feeling right now. I know that having an unfinished tattoo is going to send me home. That's it, it's done. Bye-bye, tattoo baby. This week, we asked you to create an animal tattoo. We're testing dimension. Tattoo baby. How are you, doll? Still kind of stressed. I didn't get to finish the tattoo. I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do. I'm just nauseous and I'm dizzy. Like, I don't feel good right now at all. Oh, God. <laughs> I had about an hour left when she felt better. The little textures of the fur, when you can tell the direction of the little hairs, the way you put the solid black where it needs to be, the multicolors you use to show dimension is really, really nice. You had so much opposition from your client being sick. You pulled off all kinds of cool tricks in here. They definitely didn't want to give you a boring tattoo. The white highlights were key for you. The green eyes are beautiful. I cannot believe this is the same person that did the first tattoo in <laughs> week one. Holy you have turned it around immensely. Really? I'm happy to see that you did this quality job. You had a lot against you, and you pulled off a lot of tricks in half the time of everybody else. For that, we commend you. Today, you must tattoo Medusa. From Greek mythology, Medusa is a monster with snakes for hair, who turns any man that dares look at her into stone. Composition is crucial to legibility. There's a lot of really tiny detail when it comes to a Medusa. You have snakes in her hair, a pretty face. They are really easy to screw up. Based on your work, one of you will be the first artist to close shop. Ooh. Good luck. Medusas are the Achilles heel for all tattooers. It takes a pretty lady's face, it takes perfect snakes, it takes perfect composition. You want to do like a bust so you can get more detail in like the snakes and the head? Yes. Okay, perfect. Full body Medusa. 
Full body. With a skull face. Skull face. Looking down at a victim she's turned to stone. Jesus, God. This is a pressure cooker, in my opinion. The snakes are about done, if that's any consolation. Uh, that's it. No, I got to do the face. I know how to do faces better than most of the people in this room. I'm getting up. I'm taking a break. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to get some soda. Do you need to do that right now? Yeah. We only have six hours. I'm stressing whether or not I'm going to get this tattoo finished or not. Trimming as fast as we can. Sort of a time limit. She's freaking me out. Hey, what's up? Chilling while she pees forever. My worst fear is coming true. I think I'm going to go get her. You doing OK, dear? Yeah, I'm in the bathroom. OK, no, they <laughs> hurry, the sorry. What the everybody doing? Three hours, guys. Halfway done. You're just getting me paranoid, girl. You're scaring me. If I don't finish, I'm out of here. I definitely want to take another break. That's for damn sure. OK. I can't afford to take several 20-minute breaks. Get it together, lady. Today, you had to show perfect composition by tattooing Medusa. Team Nunez, let's see how you did. Nikki, I love this tattoo. The face is beautiful. The composition is really great. You don't have tons of snakes, but what you do have are dynamic. The part of the tattoo that I do not like is the two pieces of body directly over the top of her forehead. Those look like green bananas, not snakes. But you still gave her a beautiful tattoo. You have six hours to tattoo a difficult part of the body. And based on your work, one of you will be going home. Good luck. How do you want to do it? Apocalypse Angel, okay. he has a staff standing by a tombstone with the crow there with his hand out. Do you want to do like a full body type of thing? Yeah. I'm at the mercy of this asshole who will not budge on his idea. Do you feel comfortable just doing him? Nah, man. I need it to look like this apocalyptic in the background. You know, I'm gonna put a background behind it. Mm. That's a lot of to cram into a six hour tattoo on the ribs, you know? There's no way I'm gonna be able to pull this off. Keep pushing through. Get this man. Yeah, I got it right. Pain. Think Kyle's in trouble. Kyle's dude's hurting a little bit. And the drawing sucks. There's some real shaky lines in it. You think his drawing's better than TJ's? TJ's is realism. You can't tell what it is. Get the out of here. When you guys were on top, it was all fun. You guys no. wanted to run your mouse and Dude. talk a bunch of. And now you lost two in a row, and your people went home. That's how it goes. Wait till your dudes start going home. It, and it's going to happen. I know it. My chemist wants a 16-hour tattoo condensed into six hours. But he's squirming like a little bitch. God. Damn, damn this. All right. That's, oh, All right. You're going to finish it, man. No. I have the coffee. Ah. Great tattooers go home all the time on this competition because you're at the mercy of your canvas. And this dude is done. I think I'm going home. Don't plan your funeral before your body dies. Even if he was being a dick, Kyle is still my little brother, and I love him, and I want him to do well. It's so difficult knowing that I can't do anything to help him out. I dropped the ball today. Cheer up. Cheer no. Up. Cheer the up. It's hard. Gonna go pack my bags. Oh my God, Kyle. <laughs> killing me. Today, you were being tested on creativity, tattooing difficult body parts. Kyle. I like the illustration, but you shaded over your own artwork. What you're missing here, man, is different values. Contrast. You've got one tone of black. You got the same value in the cloak, the beard, the staff the hood, the wing, and the background. I definitely would have gone in there with more tones had he been able to sit longer. This one's probably the biggest struggle you've had since you've been here. Today, you must tattoo a portrait <sighs> of an animal. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a portrait guy. Animal portraits require a lot of texture, a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, a lot of bells and whistles to make it look like the fur was on purpose. If you don't have the constant experience under your belt to do a portrait, it's never gonna look good. I don't care how good of a tattooer you are. Make this thing legible. Make every texture feelable, touchable, movable. I wanna be able to feel these things in my mind. I wanna know that there's feathers, or there's fur, or there's scales, or it's wet. Whatever it is, it's gotta be obvious to the look. Precision with photorealism is pretty much cut and dry. Your tattoo needs to look like the photo. If it doesn't, you really missed precision. 
I do this every day. This is what I do. Fail to impress the judges, and you will be sent home. Good luck. Have you ever had the back of your thigh done? I have. All right, so you're thinking like right here? Yeah. Are you opposed to the front? I don't really like the look of two thigh pieces. It's just it's not okay. my look. This is the one day I can't afford to slip up. I'm doing something I don't do. I'm gonna probably take this tattoo to the wire. That means a full six. My only concern is I don't want you tapping out or you hurt and be the reason I go home. Yeah. Because I'm so freaking close. Of course. I literally have no idea how to pull this off. Like, you can already pack my bags. I'm going home. Tony, put it on the back. Mm -hmm. That's the only place she wants it. Making it this far in a competition like this is tough. Anything can happen in these final tattoos. If you're not at your best every day, that could be your last. They're judging off of that photo, you know, so just try and do everything you can to keep as much as you can, you know? Okay. I'm not known as a photorealism guy, but I do do it. So I gotta do everything I can to try and coach my guys to get to the end. I'm doing a tattoo that I've never done before and I don't know how to do, so I'm learning as I go. The bottom will hurt a little bit more. I wanna come out of this competition a stronger tattooer with a stronger mindset. I have it in me, I just gotta find it and pull it out. You all right? Uh, I'm not even in. Maybe do some little intervals. Keep her in the chair and noodle away. She's flopping around like a fish out of water. It's not efficient when you have to take a break every 10 minutes. This is top five. I'm so close, but this is the one challenge that could send me packing. I tried. I know, you did good. You, you did the best you could. That's all I can ask for. Today, you had to be precise and tattoo an animal portrait. Tony. At first glance, you capture what the animal is, but for precision in your tattoo, you're missing this jowl, that heavy muscle, so that that thing would be able to grab a crocodile by the head and pull it up the riverbank. The other thing is, I am not a fan of the white whiskers with nothing backing them. That's a crazy play, but it's tough to not recognize a cat with spots on it for what it is. So in that way, I think you got a blessing and a curse. There's an upside to this and a downside. If you looked at the actual photo, there were way too many things that just didn't match. The fact that even the spots didn't match, it's precision, it's being accurate. Hitting the portrait, there's a lot of discrepancies, I agree 100%. At one point I realized I'm not gonna be able to recreate this image. So at that point, my goal was just to do a, the most badass leopard I could and to make sure I could at least make the tattoo look like it's supposed to. Just on precision day, those are the areas that we're gonna have some problems with. Well, I was given a leopard and it looks like one. Explain the black streaks coming off of the chin into the whiskers, outside of the face. There's not a spot on that face that's accurate. Neither of them are accurate. It's gotta count for something on precision day. However, in the world, when they look at this animal, the spots, luckily for this, don't lie. One way or the other, it's a leopard. You'll have six hours to tattoo any subject in any style. Uh, so no excuses. All right. Good luck. I'm planning to do for you the realistic rolls. OK. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Being able to tattoo anything you want in this competition is a huge gift. Cool, man. If you're able to do anything you want, you shouldn't have to defend it. This is what I do, animals and food, so <laughs> it's like perfect. I love blind critiques because a lot of times the artists think that we're out for them. I love that because it goes right with your tricep. Yeah. We will critique each one unbiasedly. We call it like we see it, just talking about art. You ready? Yep. <laughs> My canvas, she's in huge pain and she's always moving. <laughs> it's really hard for me to tattoo her. <laughs> You gotta give me two seconds, please. I'm doing it very gently. Trust me. It's not, I don't know what you want me to do. It hurts. And you're not really being, like, encouraging or trying to distract me. It hurts. I know that it hurts. And you knew that it's going to be hurt. Yes. Every time you're wiping, you're sc scratching me with the paper towel. You just run to the bathroom. I'm scared that my canvas cannot handle this pain. I'm really worrying that I cannot finish this that time. time. I'm just gonna get wrapped up and go. You what? I'm just gonna get wrapped up and go. You don't want to continue? No. Can you explain me why? Because I need to understand. I mean, I, I think your bedside manner is a little off. I feel like 
really uncomfortable, which I shouldn't. With me? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I really, I didn't want to do something wrong. The only, I was trying to do the beautiful art for you. Yeah, and I know. And the limited I appreciate... time make me rush. Yeah, I understand. I just feel... If you feel uncomfortable, I understand. If I'll go home for this tattoo, it will break my heart. I cannot go home for my roses. How'd it go, Pony? Did you finish? No. What? I was like 70 process down. What happened? She was a really big pain. When I feel that I have not enough time, I start rushing. And after all this pain, she thought that I'm not gentle to her. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. All right, guys, today we're testing artistry and we're judging blind. That's my favorite part of this whole thing. We don't know who did what, and this is completely as brutally honest as can be. Hope y'all ready for a long distance ass kicking. Let's take a look at the last tattoo. The center of this thing looks beautiful and rich. We can only assume this is not finished. I'm looking at the exterior. Why damage the skin with some scratchy little green line so that you can just come back and damage the skin more? There's a good chance that this client said, man, you're killing me. I can't sit here any longer because you've been scribbling on me for five hours and I can't take one more hour. I don't know what to say. It's unfinished tattoo. If it will be finished, I think they would say something totally different. Today you're being judged on your artistry with a blind critique. Based only on your work, each of your tattoos have been ranked by the judges. Last tattoo, let's take a look. Okay, Pony. The problem was my canvas cannot handle the pain. If you weren't tattooing over areas that you already pre-tattooed in and might not have hurt her so long, and might have been able to finish the tattoo. Those lines, it's just past lines which help me to keep the picture on the skin. That's how I do the photorealism. Pony, you have a lot of talent. If you have to do a tattoo that big, but you outline it, shade it, and color it, and finish it, do it. Let's reveal the lowest ranked tattoo. Pony. I'm not surprised. If it was finished, it'd be a different story. All right, artists, you have six hours to create a pin-up tattoo, and your time starts now. All right, brother, let's do this. Stand natural for me. Pin-ups are very tough because there's very small little eyes, a very small little nose, dainty little fingers, so every drop of ink you put on the skin has to be perfect. I think it's a good spot. It should be cute, it should be attractive, it should be beautiful. That's what makes a pinup a pinup. Perfect stencil, dude. It's gonna be a good day. If a pinup's ugly, she's not coming to meet my mom. All right. Here we go. The face is the most important part. That's right where they go in Can't there. check up the face, man. No. Pinups are not my thing, but I do a ton of faces and portraits. So with that, I'm good. You okay? Yeah. One thing I'm worried about. So my canvas looks like she's not feeling too good. <coughs> Excuse me. She's coughing every now and then, and she's just real fidgety. I'm like burning up and stuff. Oh, yeah. It was before I came, though. It's not because of the tattoo. If you f up a line at all, you can't fix it. I need my canvas to stay still. you get tattooed and you're not feeling too good, it makes it even worse. I was smart. I did the face first. I just say those boots for last, man. It's a tattoo that I knew I could pull off in two and a half hours. Yeah, I'm not going to tattoo you anymore. Oh, you're not? No. As a tattoo artist, you have to know when enough is enough. So we're going to call it right there, okay? Okay. It's a good tattoo. It's done well. I just hope that it's enough. Thank you. Have a good day. Hope it's a winner, okay? I think it's a winner, man. <sighs> Today, you had to show artistry, tattooing a pinup. Jarrell. Hi, guys. I really like this girl. I especially love the dark strip of shading that you have down the center of her leg that pushes out. That light source is beautiful. And the way that you get that nice, gentle, soft texture in the shirt really shows well. You're really shining on this one. Jarrell is definitely in the top today. This thing is unique. It's done beautifully. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jarrell. <laughs> He's got artistry on his face. Artists. You have six hours to tattoo an image out of anything but what it is actually made of. And your time starts now. Let's do this. 
Today we're testing ingenuity by having these artists design something that is going to play a trick on the eye. It'll be an image of an object, but the object is made out of other images. Figuring out how to make this out of birds was kind of a nightmare. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, that, it's a challenge. You know, that's what we do here. The worst thing the artist could do with these tattoos is create a mess to where we don't know what the actual shape is supposed to be. That's dead smack in the middle. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. This challenge can be a compositional nightmare if you do not have good drawing skills. Are you excited for me to win Tattoo of the Day with this? <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited. Team Christian gave me the tree of life made of snakes. I am super confident. I love doing snakes. It's going to have bright color. Are you okay? Do you yeah. want to move or something? No, I'm fine. To tattoo, you need to sit still. I'm okay. just trying not to that your mess line. up your lines. <laughs> One little move can ruin the whole tattoo. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. My canvas will not sit still. Time is ticking away. Are you okay? Like sharp. I have to literally get rid of half of the tree and all the little details that I wanted to put in the snakes to actually make them look like snakes. Your tongues are jacked. Ones at the top. Don't move. Whatever you do, don't move. This cannot be the reason why I go home. Don't move. Do not move. Today, you had to push the limits and tattoo objects composed out of anything but what they're actually made of. Tiara. Hi, Tiara. Hello. I don't like this one. Me neither. It was supposed to be a lot bigger, but. Because the tree of life is big. Usually, a, yeah. It's yeah, pretty, but I had to get rid of some yeah. of it. My canvas just couldn't get comfortable. The composition of this thing's rough. The shape of the snake heads are all really rough. A lot of line work problems throughout this whole tattoo. No tree here. All I see is a very awkward strand of snakes. For me, this one's a complete miss. Today, you had to prove your ingenuity, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. I would just like to say that my tattoo is still better than the other tattoos. I'd just like to know your thought process. Where in your design can you show me the tree of life? She wanted one that was kind of twisted. You can't tell me the trunk doesn't look like a cartoony illustrated trunk. This does not look like a tree. I feel like the snakes have an artistic approach to it, even if you don't want to call it a tree. I got dealt a pretty canvas. I have the ability to do great tattoos. When I'm looking at JP's tattoo, that's an elephant made out of butterfly parts. Oba composed the face, regardless what the face looks like. If we go over to Tiara's, the overall ask of the day is not there. So I need a final decision, guys. Definitely Tiara. Just based on the challenge, my vote is for Tiara. The judges have decided, Tiara, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I don't agree with you guys. I think TR is definitely a better tattooer than both of those guys put together. You rock, kid. Thanks. Please pack your machines and close shop.